Uh, just finished working out. Been in here since this morning, the day after again. And um, it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm in the sauna now, getting a sweat in after a good ab workout and um, just like a toning workout, quads, things, just a workout. I kind of like to keep fresh blood flowing through my muscles to flush out that lactic acid and, you know, perspirate a little bit and then go home and rehydrate and just refresh and keep the body flowing with new things. And it's hard work, but it's necessary, man, because I found that this is what works for me. And, um, to, to work out the day after again, it keeps me from getting sore and you know feeling a lot of a lot of things and bumps and bruises because uh, fresh blood is constantly pumping and uh, constantly getting that sweat and I'm not letting that lactic acid set in on me. So I do a lot of bad work. I don't focus on a lot of weights like I used to and uh, a lot of explosion and quick twitch and things that I need as a defensive back, as a kick returner, as a wide receiver, and a lot of uh, special teams and things. I need my quick twitch muscles to be firing on all cylinders at all times and I'm super explosive. So, as you can see, I'm sweating bullets. It's hard, hard work, man, but, you know, in actuality, it's hard work when you look at it, but from my perspective, it's not even work because I love what I do. I love this. So it's not even actually work. It hurts, but I love doing it. You know, I'm addicted to it. I'm a hard worker. That's how I was raised to be. I hard work and work on everything I do and everything I touch. And eventually hard work will pay off. You work hard, you'll be good. And if you keep working after you're good, you'll become great. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep pushing, man. We're going to get to this NFL camp this August. And I'm working my butt off here in the AFL. And wherever I got to go next to take this road to get to the NFL, that's what's going to happen because there is no other option. There's no plan B. Plan A, got to work. We're going to do this. You know, and I love everybody, whether you hated me, loved me, was there for me, or wasn't. I love you all, and I hope anybody can be encouraged by, you know, the fight that I'm fighting and the struggle. And to be a father, a husband, a athlete, a successful man in life, period. A successful father, a successful son, a husband, and all of those things to be successful, to be a well-rounded individual. It's a hard fight, but... You know, most people want me to take the road most frequently traveled, and I don't want to. I want to take the road less frequently traveled. I want to go the way that God is telling me to go, and that's the hard way. He's not telling me to take the way. He's not telling me to get a nine to five. He's telling me to start my own thing, to do my own thing, to go after what he told me to go after, what he said I could have, and that's what I'm going to do. Amen. So I'll get back with y'all later on today, and I conclude this workout with this sauna and a hot tub.